Hey everyone, welcome to the networking section. Previously, we discussed sound. In this section, we'll talk about networking in open frameworks. We'll start with using OSC protocol for exchanging parameters between apps. And we'll explore TCP protocol for sending and receiving data arrays between apps. Finally, we'll see how to create web interface for controlling Open Frameworks projects. For controlling an Open Frameworks project, by embedding it to a web server. Let's move on to the first video of this section that deals with using OSC protocol for sending and receiving the parameters between your project and other apps. We're going to take a look at OSC protocol specifics and OSC message structure and implement OSC messages sending and receiving. We'll consider several desktop and mobile apps which allow to control your project by OSC remotely. OSC stands for Open Sound Control. It's open networking protocol with low latency delivery. It's intended to send and receive bunches of data in so-called OSC messages. The typical size of OSC messages cannot exceed one kilobyte. OSC connection consists of two members, OSC sender, which sends OSC messages, and OSC receiver, which receives them. Most often, OSC is implemented using UDP networking protocol. Starting OSC connection requires no handshake, but also gives no guarantee of message delivering and no control of data error. OSC protocol is the most appropriate for sending and receiving several parameters between apps. These apps can be run on the same computer or several computers connected in local network. OSC message consists of an address and arguments. Address is a string consisting of several tokens, started and delimited by the forward slash symbol. Address resembles URL, and it's used for specifying the title of the OSC message. In order, the receiver was able to decide what to do with this message. Optionally, OSC message can have one or several arguments. There is float, integer, string, or Boolean values delivering in the message. Typically, Address is a name of a command, or a name of the parameter. An argument is a value of the parameter. In Open Frameworks, OSC is implemented using OFX OSC add-on. It's a core add-on, which means it's built in in Open Frameworks. Its main classes are OFX OSC message, OFX OSC sender, and OFX OSC receiver. Let's check them. Run Project Generator and create a new project with linked OFX OSC add-on. OK, the project is created. Let's fill it with the code. At OFApp.h file, include header for the add-on. Declare OSC sender and receiver objects. This way, we'll send and receive OSC messages in the same project. Of course, you could do it in separate projects and run them on separate computers connected in a network. Now switch to the editing of OFApp.cpp file. At setup, initialize sender to send data at specified address and port. In our case, the address is localhost and port is 12345. For sending data to another machine, you should specify instead of localhost its name or IP address. Now start receiver to listen specified port. In our case, 12345. You cannot run several OSC or other protocols receivers listening the same port on the same machine. Let's send and receive the time value. For storing corresponding values and put them on the screen, Declare them at OFApp.h file. In update, compute time set value. It'll equal to the time in seconds elapsed from the project start. To send this value via OSC, declare OSC message object. Set it address to forward slash time. Add float argument equal to time sent value. Finally, send the message using OSC sender. Let's show time sent on the screen with three digits precision after the dot. Running the project, it'll send OSC messages containing time to the same computer at port 12345 and shows it on the screen. Implement receiving OSC messages. 
put the following code to OF app update method. This is the while loop, which is executed while OSC receiver has incoming non-processed messages. Inside the loop, we declare OSC message object. We fill it by the next message, stored in the receiver. Finally, we check address of the message and set time received value equal to its argument. Let's put this value on the screen. We'll put difference between time sent and time received. Running the project, we see that time received is updating. Also, we see the difference between time sent and time received is not zero. The reason is because the receiver works in the secondary thread. So we get notification about message, which we set in the current update, call only at the next update call or later. When running OSC transfer between different computers, the time lag could be even higher. For obtaining maximum speed, use wired connection with gigabyte or higher speed. You can use OSC not only for communicating between your Open Frameworks projects. There are many ready-to-use applications, which you can use for controlling your project or control from your project. We consider just several examples of desktop and mobile OSC dedicated apps. KU Studio is our open source OSC sequencer, written on Open Frameworks. Its binaries are available for OS X and Windows. The KU Studio folder contains example Open Frameworks projects, which receive OSC messages to control visualization of the polygon. With respect to the music beats, Visor is a professional OSC sequencer. It's available for OS X at $99. It has a really powerful interface for editing OSC, MIDI, and DMX tracks. Touch OSC is a simple but useful mobile app for sending OSC messages to the computer. It's available for iOS and Android for $4.99. In Touch OSC, you create a control surface using special desktop application, then upload the surface to your mobile. Lemur is a professional mobile app for working with OSC. It's available for iOS and Android and costs $24.99. In this video, we learned the specifics of the OSC communication. We created a project that sends and receives OSC messages and explored several OSC dedicated desktop and mobile apps.